Hi everybody, welcome to Carry On Jeff and John once again. Thanks for coming and supporting us, my awesome YouTube family. What we're going to be doing tonight, <clears throat> we're going to be doing a spicy Thai salad with some nice warm mackerel. Look at them beauties. Now these have already been pre-cooked. Right. I'm just going to say hello to one or two people um, when the comments come back up. Hi Wendy, thanks for coming sweetheart. Lady Likeable, Ali Mac, Russell, Thanks for joining us tonight. Absolutely fantastic of you. So about the uh, comment to come back up again. Caroline Hillbilly 1961. Thanks for coming. Absolutely awesome of you. It really is. Right. One or two coming in. Bargain by. Thanks for coming, Russ. Absolutely awesome of you. It really is. Uh, Caroline Hillbilly. Thanks for coming. Absolutely fantastic of you. It really is. Right. You're all saying hello to one or, one or two of each of you. Right. Wendy, got to get you to that thousand, sweetheart. I'll give you an awesome shout-out later on. I'm going to uh, upload it later on. So everybody check out Wendy Lovecraft. Is. She's absolutely awesome. She really is. Right. Ali Mac, how's that car going of yours? I keep asking you, but you don't seem to reply to it. He's bought a car. But I'm sure he'll have it running like a Ferrari. Because that might... Well, we've crashed already, but there you go. Right. We're on a bit early this time, 8.30. And I will be live again tomorrow. Right. Let's go through the ingredients. Uh, Pre-cooked mackerel. Thinly sliced chilli. Bean sprouts, sugar snaps, and you want them finely sliced because that's what uh, the Thai people do when they cook. Everything is nice and thinly uh, in fine slices. Sorry, can't get the words out. Some nice cherry tomatoes, some red bell peppers, as you call them in America. We call them capsicums. Uh, thin strips of cucumber and some thin strips of carrot some coriander leaves a teaspoon of brown sugar um, and two cloves of finely chopped garlic and some chopped uh, almonds now this is going to be absolutely awesome so I'm just going to move these out of the way and then I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Right, the first thing that we want to do is put your oven on on 180. Get yourself some foil, like so. Put your mackerel fillets in there, like so. And we just want to loosely cover them and put them in the oven. And we'll want the mackerel in there for about 10 minutes. Just want to say hello. I'm sure there's one or two other people coming in. Rob Homestead, thanks for coming, my friend. Is it Homestead or Homemade? Sorry, Rob. Uh, I'm going to do one of them uh, burgers that you did, them spicy ones. That looks absolutely awesome, that does, my friend. And I do appreciate you coming to see me. You keep following me. I will keep going back to you. Leave me a comment. I know you've been, and I'll always be there for you. This is our YouTube family. 
So right, what we've got to do now, get yourself a bowl. I'll, the other ingredients over here, this is going to be our peanut uh, sauce that we're going to be putting on. You're going to absolutely love that. So let's not go into all the ingredients all at once because it can get a bit uh, confusing. Just want to keep an eye on that because I want that in there for 10 minutes. Right, the first thing we do, get your red peppers, cucumber and carrots. Put them in there like so. Sugar snaps and thinly chopped spring onions in there like that. Your bean sprouts. Ridiculous, it's because everybody's on YouTube, that's what, that's what the problem is. Your chilies in there like so. It's so easy, it's unbelievable this is. And what we want in there then is a teaspoon of brown sugar and garlic. You all right, your fingers are clean. Tomatoes. If you've never had a Thai spicy um, Thai salad, you're missing out. Uh, your hazelnuts in there. And then all we want then is chopped coriander. And we just want a little bit of olive oil in there like so. And all we do then is just turn that over like that. Just to coat it. Right. That's your salad done. Right. Get yourself a bowl. Because when we've done this, I'm going to do you a nice little sweet starter. That's something else to look forward to. Right. Get yourself a whisk. Right, this is for your sauce that's going to go over your mackerel and into your salad. What you want is two big tablespoons of smooth peanut butter. Like so. tablespoon of soy sauce the juice of one lime one red chili finely chopped as fine as you can get it Two tablespoons of sesame oil. And a teaspoon of caster sugar. And then just combine all that in there together like so. And if you think that is too thick, what we do then is put some more sesame oil in. There you go, sesame oil. Buy that anywhere. Any good supermarket, but I always get mine from the Chinese store.
And that's what we're looking for. That's, I like it nice and thick, but that's what you want anyway. Put that to the side. And all we're going to wait for now is for that smoke back up to be done. Suka, thanks for coming sweetheart. What a mod, absolutely awesome she really is. I will and thank you. That's great Rob Overstall. Homemade, Rob homemade. Right, five people in now, seven likes. Not expecting a great crowd. Um, but the regular YouTube family is always in. Right, my friends. Uh, Trigger. Where's Trigger tonight, uh, Russ? But obviously they've not got the notifications. A lot of people don't get the notifications. And I'm finding that um, a lot of you, I'm going to you and you, you subscribe there, is on red. And I'm having to put it back on, continuously putting it back on, which is absolutely ridiculous. So I'm just waiting now for that mackerel um, just to warm through. We just want it not want it warm. We don't want it piping hot because otherwise that will wilt uh, your salad. I messaged him the time to. Andy Fleming, thanks for coming, my friend. Absolutely fantastic of you. It really, really is. Right, just waiting for that. I just want to thank everybody that's coming tonight, I really do. Absolutely awesome of you, it really is. So we're just waiting now for that mackerel and then I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Working with the ambulance service tomorrow pal. Absolutely awesome Andy, I salute you, absolutely, I really do. You're absolutely fantastic. Big uh, applause for Andy Fleming, NHS. Um, what more can we ask for? You're an absolute legend, my friend. Yes, we've had one, one or two people that come in, they come in and then they disappear. They're, um, they're what you call the, uh, the sub-hunters, that's what I call them. But we all know who the genuine ones are. Right, that's warming up now. Get your peanut sauce and just put that on top of you. Absolutely awesome, it really is. Get yourself a plate. Time for plating up, my friends. Then what we're going to do then is put your salad on there like so.
And all you want to do then is just put a bit more of the picking up sauce on. And there you have a Thai, spicy Thai salad with mackerel with a nice chilli peanut sauce. Now how easy was that? Here you go. There you go. Absolutely fantastic. This is my favourite. It really is. Just going to set me full now and then I'm going to show you what we're going to do next. Right my friends, what you need for this one is a nice refreshing starter ready for when you're, when you're ready for the toy. Absolutely awesome. So what you want is a fresh fig. Some ricotta, and some nice strawberries. Now we're going to make a few uh, starters, well this is absolutely awesome, you're going to love this. Right, the first thing we've got to do is get your strawberry. So I have my phone's going off. Right, get your strawberry and cut that into three like so. There we go. Your fig, just take off the nipple. I'll show you what a nipple looks like. There you go. Let's keep it clean. And then what we want to do is cut it crossways like that, about halfway down. And what we do then, just squeeze it from the bottom like so. There we go. Get your ricotta. This is awesome, it really is awesome. We cut her, absolutely awesome. There's a few people coming in now. Hi Trigger, thanks for coming my friend. Neil Allison, Sally, absolutely awesome, really is. Lady likeable, if you like figs, you have got to try this, darling. You really have got to try this. Right, we want a slice of ricotta. There we go. <coughs> And get your strawberries. This, my friends, is a fancy starter. Stick them in there like so. And then all you do then, my friends, is get yourselves 
pony. Voila! Now, how easy was that? Figs with ricotta and strawberries with a little drizzling of honey is absolutely awesome. It really is. Bit posh that, John, but I'm telling you, you try this and you will get addicted to it. It's absolutely awesome. Gemma, thanks for coming in, sweetheart. Absolutely brilliant of you. It really is. Wendy is a posh starter, it really is, sweetheart. But this is to die for. Trust me, it really is. Right. So tonight, we are being treated to a nice little starter and the mackerel with peanut sauce on with a nice Thai, um, spicy Thai salad. Now, have that first. And then your palate will recorrect itself when you have this. Please try it. It is absolutely awesome. It really is. Gail, Gail Crabtree, thanks for coming, darling. Absolutely awesome of you. Uh, everybody grab up, Gail. Catch your live stream when you actually live. Finally got to catch you. Well, Gail, that is absolutely fantastic of you, sweetheart. It really is. Everybody grab old Gail Crabtree. She's a sweet lady. She really is. And I don't vouch for everybody, but I will vouch for that lady. I really will. She's absolutely fantastic. It doesn't matter if you get a little split in your ricotta, but... It doesn't matter, it's the combination, it's absolutely awesome. Right. I have to take I have to take my thumbnail again. Well, we don't want a picture of the, the, the foil, do we? Because that, uh, that wouldn't be right, would it? And there you go, my friend. Uh, tomorrow... Um, I will be live again tomorrow. Um, I'm going to come up with a dessert for you, Lady Likeable. I know you asked for a pudding, and that's what we're going to be doing, darling. Uh, Misha uh, asked for a pudding as well. So I'm going to come up with something that's going to be absolutely awesome for you. It really is. Um, so there we go, my friends. Um... Mackerel. Do you like mackerel? Mackerel and that peanut sauce. Absolutely awesome. It really is. There you go, my girls. They are family. Nice bit of spice. Awesome. That peanut sauce with this salad and the mackerel, the combinations are absolutely awesome, they really are. Looks delicious, thank you. Yum yum in my tummy. Toothers. And I hope you tried the black pepper sauce. Really. Is there anybody I've missed? 
of our YouTube family. Wow, looks really good. Thank you, Ali Mac. Thank you, my friend. Going to make some of that peanut sauce, Johnny. It's absolutely awesome, Russ. It really is. You know where I am if you ever need any help with anything. If you're not quite sure about the uh, ingredients and that. But I'm telling you, mate, this is absolutely fantastic. And I'm not just saying it. Got to try it. And you must try that um, black pepper sauce out, my friends. If you haven't got salted peanuts, you can put any nuts in whatever you want, but make sure they're fine chopped. Right. We've had that. Now, now my friends, you've got to have this. You've got to. Absolutely awesome. So you know what you're looking for, ricotta. Ricotta, test goes. Mm. Fix. getting back absolutely you gotta do this the chef taught me this many many years ago and I thought to myself you know what I'm gonna share it with you well I'm not gonna share this because I'm eating this But I think you need more than one fig. You want about 20 of them. You really do. There's a load of strawberries. Let's get, a, let's get one as big as this board. That's what we want. And figs are very good for you. Green ones, black ones. Doesn't matter. I'm not bothered. I'll eat the skin as well. This skin as well. Absolutely awesome, it really is. But it's entirely up to yourself what you want to do. If you want to eat this first and then get into the uh, mackerel uh, Thai salad, it's entirely up to yourself. <laughs> My wife could match with this. It really does. Absolutely awesome. <laughs> it really is. I can't stop. I can't stop. Once you once you start eating this, you can't stop. Trust me. <laughs> I've got thirteen people in, and fourteen likes. Absolutely fantastic. It really is, and I really do appreciate it. Strawberries are beautiful at the moment, so sweet. Yes, they are, Wendy. It's the time of the year now. They're so beautiful, just like you, Wendy. You, you are my strawberry. You really are. John, wow. Your, your main, main meal and dessert looks so delicious. I'll definitely make it. I'm so pleased that... Um, you like this um, and let me know let me know how you get on honestly this is to die for um, your peanut sauce if you want it um, a bit more runny or whatever but I like it a bit thickish but just add some more uh, sesame seed in 
uh, sorry, sesame seeds, sesame oil in it, or put another little bit of lime juice in it. It's entirely up to yourself. And also, when you have the Thai salad as well, if you want, put yourself a little sprinkle of brown sugar on. It tones the chilies down. If you want it hotter, get some more chilies in there. It's entirely up to yourself. It really is. But I am so pleased um, that you've enjoyed this. Enjoyed this tonight. I really am. Me too. I love strawberries. Beautiful. Makeup. Absolutely awesome, another great lady. She's absolutely brilliant. She really beautiful lady. She really is. Um, she had a nice meal on there the other day, and she said if I lived nearby, I could go and meet her, and we could um, have a meal together. Now that would be a dream come true. It really would. My dream would be to. Get a load of tables outside and I'll all cook for you. So you could actually try, try some of these recipes. Um, Nutella, yeah. UK scrapper. That's, that's absolutely awesome of you to come, it really is. Uh, check out UK scrapper, Geordie lad. We are the Toon Army. Big Newcastle fan. I've been a Newcastle fan all my life. My father was born in Jesmond, so that is the connection. Before anybody says, well, you don't sound like a Geordie. I've got Geordie in my blood, so I'm a big, massive fan. That would be like a dream, everyone. It certainly would. It really would. Oh, all of us together. We'd have so much to say to each other. We would. We are a unit. We are one big family. Freddie Forrington, thanks for coming, my friend. Now, if you want to hear somebody play a guitar, the acoustic guitar, check out, check out um, Freddie Forrington. And, the, I mean, he's not even got 500 subscribers now. But the amount of views he gets is phenomenal. It really is. It's 10,000 odd views. That shows that the people that are watching him um, really appreciate his, his skill. He is so talented, he's unbelievable. And there's quite a few of our YouTube family that go and see Freddie Forrington. That shows how genuine we are. Gail, what, uh, one minute Gail, wait till he comes back on, sweetheart, and I'll answer it for you. See, here we go, we're waiting for this, you know what I mean? But all I'm going to say is 15 likes is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, ricotta cheese there, uh, Gail. What kind of cheese are you pairing with the strawberries? Ricotta, darling. There you go. R-I-C-O-T-T-A. -T ricotta. Don't know if you can get it, um, but I'm hoping you can because I really want you to try this. And your fix, they want to be slightly soft. They don't want to be hard. We want that nice juiciness about them, the ripeness about them. So, uh, but please, try it. You're going to love it. You're going to absolutely love it. Hi, Just Jenna. Thanks for coming. Absolutely fantastic. We've got 15 legends in here. We really have. And at one stage... I thought, you know what, we're going to get five people in. Um, but, they tend to come eventually, they really do. Just Jenna. Wonderful, I have some in the, in the fridge right now. Now the berries and figs, actually. I don't know, I don't know if you've got a, a, a Tesco where you are, Gail, but... You get these ones, or the green darling, it's entirely up to yourself, but these are better, the more riper, absolutely, really are. And figs, fig a day, you won't have any trouble going to the toilet, because you'll be as regular as anything with figs, you really would. So that's another tip for you, more figs and more time on the toilet, there you go.
My kitchen is an absolute mess, it really is. But I'm going to finish them figs with some of them strawberries and me and the wife are going to sit down and we're going to have that. That's what we're going to have, really are. She loves, absolutely loves strawberries, she really does. I'm going to, uh, hopefully, keep... I don't want to make it too long. But I will be putting my notification out um, of what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. I might do a carbonara. Um, I, one or two people have asked me for carbonara. I think it was Lady, um, Lady Likeable. Um, what, what do you think? What do you think? Any suggestions of what you think we should what we should do? Lady Likeable, she's a sweet lady, she really is. Honestly, she's she's fantastic. Oh now that's lovely, John. So shall we do um a carbonara tomorrow? Liver and onion. Sally, I've already done that, sweetheart. Um if you want to check one of my videos out, liver and onions, um, we are speciality. Beef straggling off. Um, I'll see what beef I've got. If I've got the beef, if I can get the beef, I'll do a beef straggling off. Pasta dish. Not a problem, Lady Likeable. UK scrapper. Neil Ellison pot noodle. Yeah, pot noodle. We'll make our own pot noodle. You know what I mean, Neil? Absolutely fantastic. And my phone battery is dying. Gail, my battery is always uh, dying. You know what I mean, sweetheart? Gail, I just want to say thanks. Uh, you're an absolute darling for coming, and I, and I really do appreciate that. And it's nice to see you. And I hope everyone's got Gail. Um, sweet lady, honestly. Some great people on here, legends. Absolutely, you really are. Um, I don't think you want me rattling on anymore, do you? I watch your video, girl. Suka will always come to, come to see you. Any dish you do is always good. Thank you. See, when you go live, cooking, it's it's difficult sometimes to concentrate on the cooking. And chatting and that but I always try to make that effort to make sure that you're all okay and you're welcome because um, I do love seeing you I really do and I'm looking forward to tomorrow night as well um, so I'm gonna either do the carbonara or I'm gonna find something else but if you want a pasta dish I want to sort one out for you I really am Mine does on, I have to jump to fresh. It's every six months I've out loud. My battery pacemaker. <laughs> Wendy, you don't need a bloody pacemaker. You really don't. Wendy, Wendy you, you're so funny. You really are, darling. Absolutely brilliant you are. Pasta copper today, Russ. Sorry, what not, what's next door's bathrooms, window? What time tomorrow? I'll be on tomorrow at 8.30. Did you get me notification tonight, Lady Likeable? I've only come on at 8.30 because I know uh, you wanted me to come on a bit earlier. So I've come on early, especially for you, darling. Really have. Um, if a lot of people was like Lady Likeable, the honesty and all that, I, 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 it's still embedded in my mind what she did with that parcel. She didn't, she says, I don't, I don't deserve this and whatever. And she's gone and give it to somebody else. Now that tells me something about a person, it really does. Um, I know you're in lockdown, sweetheart, we're all in lockdown, but um, I know you're classed as a vulnerable person um, and you can't go out till what, the 30th of June, which is quite a way away and that, you know what I mean? But I don't know, I mean, do you suffer with depression and all that? But I hope you don't. Oh, you don't mind if you do anyway, come on here. You know, let's all, you've all got your friends here. 
Wendy, you've not had a bloody pacemaker for 70, 17 years. You're only about bloody 35. You're not that bloody old, I'll tell you. It's all that Nottingham here. Have you seen out of Robin Hood lately, Wendy? Hey, Wendy lives in, if you don't know, if you're not familiar with Nottingham, where Wendy loves crafting it lives, it is famous for Robin Hood. And if you've never been to Nottingham, you want to get yourself there. It's, it's a great place. It really is. You ever come out to the UK? And I don't know if it's true, Wendy, but there's for every one male, there's five ladies. Now, I don't know if that's a myth or it's actually true. So that's one for Wendy to answer. True or false? Five ladies uh, to one man. That's why I don't go to Nottingham. The simple reason is, I can only manage one, but five. I'd be in, I'd be in an asylum. I really would. Unbelievable. Yes, I did, thanks. I got another one today. It's gone to the homeless shelter. Lady, salute you, darling. Absolutely awesome. Really is. What a sweet lady she really is. Lady likeable, you are absolutely awesome. I'm right though, aren't I, Jordy? I'm right, aren't I? I can manage one, but bloody five, I tell you, I'd be, I'd be locked up, I would. See, I can go live uh, today and tomorrow, because the wife is out at work, she does a part-time job. She doesn't need to go out, but she's just being nosy. She sits with her friend, and they're on the texting, and, and on the phones and all that. My missus, if her phone went up to 500, not 100%, 500, it would run out within six hours because it's all this. You know what I mean? But she'll always text me and say to me, what are you up to? What do you mean, what am I up to? I'm washing bloody pots. I'm doing the drying. Uh, cooking for the YouTube family. Running backwards and forwards with my lads, taking them there and dropping them off and doing this and that. And I mean, and I don't get no time to myself. The only time I get any time to myself is when the lads are asleep. The eldest, obviously, because he's, he's got to be up at 5.30 in the morning. Kieran, the, the, uh, the chef, um, is doing an apprenticeship. I'm hoping that they might be lifting the van um, for restaurants and hotels on May the 15th. Now, you hear that many things, but don't quote me on it. But if it does, that'd be great, because he's getting a bit bored now. He wants to go back to work. With all this lockdown, it's great. You've got your family and all that. It's quality time and all that. But, um, well, it gives me plenty of time to work on recipes and, and whatnot. John, Kieran's birthday, was it the 20th? No, it was the 18th, Wendy. Um, Liam's was the 19th. I don't know if you've seen his cake, uh, what we had made. Oh, that was absolutely fantastic. Now it's Kieran and 19. And like I've always said, 18th and 19th of March. Um, March their birthday is. Wendy, um, Luke, the blonde-haired one, the golden boy with my uh, mother. Um, his was yesterday, the 21st. But I just wish that my wife had kept her, kept her legs shut for just just before midnight and then it would have saved me a fortune. Then we could have had the same birthday on the same day. But now we're having to... We celebrate the same day, uh, uh, Karen's and Liam's. But then the next day is his birthday and we've got to do it all over again. It's all dollar it's costing me. No wonder I'm losing weight, we're worrying that. It's unbelievable. But we do have a good time, we really do. Every Friday, I'll cook us all a meal, we'll have a few brandies, we'll play Monopoly. But they don't like playing Monopoly with me. 
But they don't let me, because I'm good at it. But I am taking money out of the till. You know what I mean? I'm the banker. But now they've gotten on, I am not the banker anymore. You know what I mean? But they don't know. I know what I'm doing. You know what I mean? I love Monopoly. And then we have a game of uh, 31, which is um, Dominoes. And um, I shuffle them. But I don't know where the double blank is. Because if you get over 31, what have you got in your hand? You count If you go over 31, you're out of the game. And we all and we all have took a fiver each in and that, you know what I mean? But it's my money I'm tucking in. The wife will say, chuck 15 quid in for the lads. And then if any one of them win, they keep it. But if I win, I still, they still keep it. So what's the point in that? It's too daft for them, she really is. But um, I know with the double blankets and I watch it all the way around. I put my finger on it like that, I'm shuffling on like that. And they're not caught on yet. But they will now because they'll be watching me doing this. They'll be waiting for this. That's what they'll be doing. So is there many lives going on tonight? There can't be many lives going on because you're here. You know what I mean? I bloody do cheat, Wendy. I've got to try and get me bloody money. Yeah, I love dominoes. I oh, yeah, they've got to get me money back, Wendy. Honestly. Um, what do you play, Lady Likeable? What, what dominoes do you play? I know you play with uh, the dots and all that. But what do you like? Domino out? Or 31? What do you like playing? We come to the best live. Thanks, Jordy. Thanks, my friend. Absolutely awesome. UK scrapper. What a man. He really is an awesome man, he really is. What was you doing in Gateshead, UK? You're a traitor. You can't go to Gateshead, mate. We're, we're, we're two an army through and through. You got Middlesbrough the Smoggins. Eh? Middlesbrough, they're finished. Honestly. You can't go there. And I'm not going to say anything about the monkey either. I'm only, I'm only winding up. But I used to get that one as a kid. About the monkey. Darlington, I believe that was, was it, Jordy? We do UK. I only know the original game. Well, it's no good playing playing in this house, Lady Lateable, because you need to bring a thousand pound with you. You might go home with about a shilling. Because they're all cheats in our house. They don't know any better. They really don't. HP Source. Sorry. HP Creations. Thanks for coming. Absolutely fantastic of you. It really is. Yes, the monkey spark. I laugh out loud. I know all about that, mate. Nice to see you on your live stream. It's nice to see you as well. Who used to say that? Bruce Forsyth. Nice to see you, to see you nice. Hey, Brucey. He lived a long time because he used to like the bloody women he did. Uh, everybody check out HP Creations. Welcome to our um, YouTube family. These uh, channels in here are the best channels you will ever meet. They really are. Go and check them out. Remember, watch a full video. Then hit the subscribe, make a genuine comment. It's no good commenting on a, on a recipe and saying, that was a fantastic goal you scored. You know what I mean? Because then you know you're giving yourself away. But um, I have been finding out that the... Um, I've been going to one or two with my YouTube family and it's on red. Now, I don't know if there's something happening on uh, YouTube, but it's getting a bit daft. It really is, honestly. You put it on. Then you go back again the, the next day or whatever, when I got a notification, gone, it's gone. So while that's on red, I'm not getting notifications. I'm having to scroll through and have a little look who's uploading and that. You can't get to everybody. I certainly don't get to the ones that uh, I never see. But I've been looking and some of my old videos, because I like to check who's, who's around and who's still around, 
that tells me they are they are your true friends they really are absolutely really are anyway i'm starting to waffle a bit now aren't i my wife says i ought to wear high heel shoes and a skirt because i talk more than what a woman does and i said you gotta be joking the only reason i have a rabbit or I can have a good chat. He's with my YouTube family when I go live. Because I don't get a word in when my wife starts. You ever get that when the talk, you know like when you're watching telly and she'll say something and then you go, yeah, you're right. Yeah, 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 that was right. She says, what do you mean that was right? You said it wasn't good. I said, what was that? You know, you just get the end bit. And they'll, they'll go out the room and, and, and they're talking and say, uh, can you get, uh, and, and then you don't hear anything. Why do they, why do they do that? Why when you're walking away they start talking to you? Unbelievable. Melissa Lee, sorry I'm just getting here for you. Um, you'll have to watch the replay, darling. I, I've done you a nice uh, kiwi with uh, ricotta uh, cheese. Not with ricotta cheese, ricotta with some nice uh, strawberries on. And I've done a mackerel with a peanut sauce with a Thai uh, salad. So if you want to check it out, darling, but I will, I will be here on live tomorrow at 8.30. And I've got another awesome recipe for you. Nana, thanks for coming, darling. Massive shout out to Nana. I think we all know Nana. She's a great lady. She's there for everybody. She is family. What are we, Nana? We are family. Big time. We really are. She's absolutely fantastic she really is suka um watched you this morning it was nice to see you live i was just getting in the car um and i just looked at my phone and i seen suka she was live i thought well i've got to go and say uh, hi to that lovely lady she's so i can't put into words she's so what genuine loving she would do anything for anybody i'm a good judge of character and i know i can tell you genuine i can tell you who, 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 who the uh, riffraff is you know you get dead wood that come into live streams and that but i will not vouch for them if i didn't uh, think there was any good I'll, I'll, if i don't vouch for them then it's entirely up to yourself because I've seen them around, they come in, you know, come and say hello and that. People go and check them out and that, and then you don't see them, and then you may as well just chuck them on, a, on, a, on the bonfire with the rest of the other dead wood. It's just ridiculous. She's beautiful, Wendy. Absolutely. She really is. Thank you, John R. When I was watching uh, Suka's live, she came on, because um, you couldn't see because the wind was blowing her all over the place, you know what I mean? And she got this uh, puffer jacket on. And I thought, you know what? How trendy was that? Honestly, she's absolutely fantastic. Really is. You're an absolute legend. legend. You really are. Um, also, I want to thank the people that are running me, uh, you know what, for me. Uh, the minutes are starting to go a bit, you know what I mean? So I really, really, really do appreciate that. I really do. I'm just going to have a little drink of vodka. If you believe that, you believe anything. But I do like a nice uh, brandy. Martel. Oh, it's awesome. Hennessy. Awesome. But I, I, drink, I drink it neat. You know what I mean? My family got to have some coke in it, water it down. Ew. In pansies. Get it down, yeah. Did you all like get some food? No, no. They must be out with the mates. They're up, well, not out with the mates. They're upstairs and all that. They've already eaten. They've already eaten. So now they haven't getting none of this. But they're not keen on fish. That's why I've done this one. Mackerel, awesome. I love it. Really do. Is that Raphael?
Raphael, where you been, my friend? I've been ringing you. Been ringing Raphael for about what? Three weeks now. Ask him where you coming tonight. You gonna come and see me? Raphael Scrapper, what a great guy. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give awesome shout outs. Raphael, I'll give you an awesome shout out, my friend, because you are number you are number one. Well you're all number one really. But I will give a shout out to everyone. So I'm going to post them every day, a different person every day. My YouTube family, nobody else. Ali and Mark, you're still here, my friend. How are you getting on with that car? Can you please tell me? I'm fascinated. Well, we're coming up to nearly one hour. We're up and down like a bloody yo-yo here. Is it good to get likes? I know the dislike ones, you know, but we're all going to get dislikes. If you get a dislike, that means you're doing bloody well. It really does. So, likes are good, aren't they? I'm waiting on bits for it. What bits are you waiting for? I tell you what, Adam, I could put, he, he put a, a tractor engine in that uh, car. Is it a Passat? Volkswagen Passat. If he put a tractor engine in it, he'd modify it, and I'll tell you what, he'd get it working. I, honestly, that guy is absolutely brilliant. And I'm not just saying that, Ali. You are awesome. Absolutely. You must make a fortune, being a mechanic. Because you can do anything. You're absolutely fantastic. Thanks for putting the link on for Ra Raphael. Thanks, Suka. Every week we're going to do, well, every time we come on, remind me, Suka, we've got to do a massive shout out. And that's what we've got to do. You can disable your likes and dislikes. Well, I don't know how to work computer and all that. But at the end of the day, if I get any dislikes, Lady Likeable, I'm not, I'm not really, uh, I'm not really bothered. Because um, it shows that you're doing all right. But if I was getting 40 dislikes and uh, one like, then I'd start to worry in that. And then um, I'd have to get a computer expert in to come and do it for me. I just wish somebody lived nearby, uh, one of you lot, they could show me how to work these bloody things, honestly. I can't even do my own thumbnail, I have to rely on uh, Jeff to do that. And I hate relying on people, I really do. I like That's why my thumbnail's not on for at least a day. And I think that's... Uh, that must be costing me views and that, you know what I mean? But, um, and then it comes on about a, a day and a half later, which is not good enough, it really ain't. So, there you go. Yeah. Why? Just text her. It's all right, it's all right with that. I just fell asleep at the sofa after dinner I felt loud. On me, really is. Unbelievable. Raphael, gotta stop off that whiskey, my friend. He didn't fall asleep eating his food. He was drunk. Raphael, you gotta cut down, my friend. I'm only joking. But um Raphael, um I am waiting by the door. We're next door's cat uh, waiting for me parcel. But I hope it comes before Sunday. I don't want it to come tomorrow. I want it to come Sunday. Just in case um, there's any perishables in there. Because I want to do an unboxing on Sunday. And I want to show my YouTube family what Raphael Scrappers has sent me. Unbelievable. I can't wait to open that box. Some nights, I have to wait for the cat to come in so I can put it out. I mean, how daft is that? You know what I mean? Unbelievable. Um, anybody like Lee Evans? Ah, oh, really? Hang on up. Big YouTuber, disable them. Just highlight your video on YouTube Studio. I'm going to read that, Lady Likeable. 
I'm going to read that three tall. I have to pay. Honestly, I have to pay for someone to do my thumbnails. I have to pay. I've always found in life that if you've got to rely on somebody, you're in trouble. You really are. I, I, I don't know. I just, I like to, if somebody does something for me, I want to return the favour as quick as possible before I go to sleep because I don't want them to talk about me. You know what I mean? Oh, I've done something for John and he never gave me nothing or whatever. I'm not like that. It's like when, say like we have a takeaway or we go for a restaurant, go, go, for, go for a restaurant. When we go to a restaurant, I'll always tip them a tenner. If the food's good and they've looked after us. Because the next time when you go in, they will look after you, they'll remember you. Hi, Mr. Davis, Mrs. Davis, how are you? You know what I mean? And that's how it should be. That's what I do. So I the coming the coming on these um comments every now and then. So all I'm doing now is looking is looking at myself. You know what I mean? They don't come on quick enough. Rabbiting too much, that's what it is. They don't, they don't want me to answer your questions. Nana, I, I see you. Hope you're well, Nana. Hi, mister. Nana Cooking Craft Corner. Check out Nana. I think we've all got it. She's the Nana. She's the Nana of our YouTube family. She's absolutely fantastic. She really is. Misa Les, thank you, darling. I tell you what, you and I have got a big bloody garden. I checked it out. Check out Mr. Missa. Missa. Is that how you spell it? Missa. M I S H A. Missa Lee. I checked her. She's doing some plants and all that. I don't know if she's planting cannabis or, or what, but she's got a massive garden. You could put an horse track, horse racing track there. Honestly, it's brilliant. I wish I had that kind of land. I've got a big garden, but it's nowhere as big as that. You could get lost in it. You really could. I'd need a sat now to go around the garden. It's absolutely massive. Brilliant. And I think Raphael's got the biggest um, tomato at the moment. I've seen a picture of it. It's absolutely massive. You could sit on it. So you better catch up everybody and I want everybody um, to check out Mrs. Green's Thumb. Got a great channel on YouTube. Check her out, Mrs. Green's Thumb. She's doing a competition. Um, see who grows the biggest tomato. Now that is a competition that you need to check out. If you're a keen, keen gardener, go and check it out. Mrs. Green's Thumb. Absolutely awesome channel. You go on to her live, she makes everybody apple, happy apple, make everybody apple, makes everybody welcome. She's absolutely fantastic, she really is, and she has some nice people on there, honestly. She has some of our YouTube family on there, and we all mucking together. You, uh, Mrs. Greenthumb, her friends come over here, because we are one. Hey up, the bells. We are one big, massive YouTube family. And one day, one day our day will come. Really will. Tim Bruce, thanks for coming, my friend. Cheers all. Are you sober, Tim? Tim Brewer, nice guy. Really is. Tim, thanks for coming, my friend. You're, you're, you're an absolute star. You really are. And it's nice that you've come and uh, checked us out. So kind of you, John. Well, I only say it how it is, with the, Hey, up, what's happened here? Land, ice, and oceans. And it's environment. You ever get that when your phone just comes? My lad says to me, Dad, whatever you do, you must lock your phone. So I am locked. Lock. Because I, I start pressing it. I could be anywhere. And all of a sudden, I hear these voices. I think, Hey, up, what's happening? Something's happening to me. I'm going mad. I'm hearing all these voices in my head. Then I realise, check your phone, John, check your phone, you've left it going again, you haven't locked it. And that's what's happening to me. Unbelievable.
Johnny, I'm thinking I've had some cooking subjects at my Discord server. Discord server? I don't understand that, Raphael. So you can share some of your recipes out there too. That'd be awesome. That'd be awesome, Raphael. Raphael, just get in touch with me, mate. Just, just guide me. You know how long it took me to find you when I won that uh, that competition. I it, it, it was mad. I left. I left um, enough for um, Raphael to have a drink because of Snapchat and all. I like to donate every now and then. And then I find out. I said, get yourself a couple of beers or whatever. And then what I found out, I, I'd, won, I'd won in Raphael's um, competition, which is absolutely fantastic. But I, I can't wait, honestly. I'm waiting, I'm waiting at the, at the box. I have to sleep near the front door because I am not letting anybody near that parcel, Raphael. Because if there's gold bars in it, I don't want nobody taking them. If you if you put five bars in, I need to know how many bars of uh, gold you put in there, honestly, so I can get them. Trust me. <coughs> Raphael, hope you got it. Laugh out loud. This is Melissa's link. Melissa's lead link. Everybody grab her. Suka, thanks for putting the links on, sweetheart. Now, if there's anybody, there's nobody in here that I'm not friends with. Uh, so, I can't say if you wanted to uh, adopt me, it's entirely up to yourself. You know what I mean? Um, right, the time's flying. I've got to get by that front door again. Because if Raphael's uh, parcel comes, it might come in the night. That's why I'm stopping up. I am so tired, honestly. But, it'll come when it comes. But I should be there. Early morning, as soon as I hear that doorbell, my mind goes, I should be jumping out the top window. Not we've got time to go down the stairs and unlock the door. I've got to get out there and I've got to sign for that. How awesome is that? Hey, anyway, I've had a message. There are some bars in it. Thanks, Raphael. Thank you, my friend. Now, are there 22 carat gold bars? But it doesn't matter if they're 9 carat. I do appreciate it. All them bars of gold. Thank you, Raphael. I really do appreciate it. I'm only joking, my friend. If you sent me, Raphael, if you sent me a can of Guinness in a parcel, that would mean more to me than anything in the world. I am not bothered. Trust me. What's in the? I am bothered. What's in the in 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 the part in the uh, parcel? But I'm not one of these that to receive and just receive, receive, receive. I'm not like that. I don't care. It's the thought that counts, and that's what means more to me than anything. And trust me, my friends will tell you that. I appreciate. Genuine people, loyal, my brothers. You know, that's what it's all about. It really is. Wendy, if I ever come to Nottingham, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come and have a cup of tea with you. I bring the family, um, but obviously people like to think, keep things uh, private and all that. But I, it would be a honour to come and see you, sweetheart. It really would. Um, I could bring about another 50, 60 subscribers, couldn't I? Come on, this is Wendy. Come on, I'll press that button for her. You know what I mean? Anyway, I've had orders from um, Luke. I've got to do him chicken and black pepper sauce and some spicy rice. Uh, he's the only one that's not eaten tonight. I'm going to check to see if he's actually awake, because otherwise... I'll have to eat it, and I'm I'm on a diet, honestly. Um, I wore this dark t-shirt because I look so slim. I look slim in mean, it. If you want to, if you want to be slim, wear something dark. If I wear a white t-shirt, 
I look like a, a mad monk. Them budders. My lads will call me a budder when I've got a white t-shirt on, but I don't wear white t-shirts now. Gotta wear this. You're right. The thought that counts. Anyway, I just want to thank every single one of you for coming and supporting me. I really do appreciate that. Anyway, we are live tomorrow at 8.30pm UK time. I think we all know that now. Um, and I've got, uh, I'll have another awesome uh, recipe for you. So I've got a lot to, lot to do, a lot to think about. I want to, uh, I'll tell you what I might do tomorrow. I might do a fried egg. How awesome would that be? Nah, I'm only joking. Anyway, from Carry On, Jeff and John. Love you all. You're all absolute legends. You're just fantastic. You really are. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. So from Carry On, Jeff and John. That is an awesome waller.